Hello and welcome to our Friday football forecast. Guys, this is our chance for the KU sports team to really take a dive into tomorrow's Longhorns game. As you can see, I'm joined by my good friends Jake Garcia and Emily John Greco. Emily, the Longhorns open up conference play tomorrow. Is there anything that Texas can do against Texas Tech to prove to you that they aren't just beat UTEP good, they're actually good? Jeff, the only way Texas is going to prove that they're actually good this year is when they beat Oklahoma, or I should say if they beat Oklahoma, because in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. And unfortunately, Longhorn fans, OU has won that battle in the Big 12 for several years now. So tomorrow's game, it's it'll show me that, you know, they're able to do well on the road. But other than that, you got to beat OU to prove it. I hear you, and I completely agree. Those expectations are high. We know it. The Longhorns know it, and their coaching staff knows it. Jake, you had a chance to chat with a bunch of Texas players and coaches this week. Was there one soundbite or comment that really sticks out in your mind? Yeah, it was probably the most 2020 comment of all time. It was when Tom Herman was asked, how are you going to make sure that Sam Ellinger isn't wiped out because of contact tracing on the plane? Uh, Herman said, I'm not even just going to put Sam in the cockpit of the plane to keep him away from everyone. I'm going to have him fly his own plane. Obviously being sarcastic, but uh, pretty funny the extent that he says they'll go to in order to keep his uh, most important player safe. All right, so no private jet for Sam, but some good information there. If you do get popped with a COVID test on the plane, the two rows in front of you and the two rows behind you are also out for testing. Uh, let's go to rapid fire now. Quick questions, quick answers. Guys, last year, these two teams, Tech and Texas, combined for about 750 passing yards. Emily, will we see over or under 700 passing yards in the game? I'm going over. Jake? Yeah, over as well. Ellinger goes for over 500 himself, so they'll have no problem going for 700 combined. I'm going way over. I hope we see close to 800. Last year in this game between the Red Raiders and Longhorns, Texas defenders sacked the Red Raiders four times. Emily, are we going to see four or more sacks this time around? I'm saying yes. Jake? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go no. Uh, Texas didn't have more than four sacks in any game last year. They had four sacks twice, so the chances of them having four, in my opinion, are low. I'll go no as well. If you only sack UTEP twice, chances are you're not going to make it home against Tech more than four times. But, but I will go with three. I don't know why. Three is the number I'm picking. And speaking of numbers, guys, let's go ahead and tell the audience our predictions for the game. Emily, we'll start with you. Who's going to win and what's the score going to be? Texas wins 42-21. Jake, what you get? I'll go a little bit more high scoring. Texas wins 48-28. Emily, you know, we're always right there in sync. We're only one, part, one point away in our projections. I'm going Texas 41, uh, Red Raiders 21. Guys, we'll just have to wait and see what the game looks like tomorrow. Of course, you can follow us on social media or keep up with us on kvu.com slash sports.